and a warning. This report from our chief correspondent contains some images of those killed at the musical festival there. A line of tanks have taken up a position in front of the trees and farmlands where an outdoor party was attacked by Hamas fighters. It's the most deadly act of terror in Israel's history. The road towards the party's location is now a heavily militarised area. A short distance away in Gaza, smoke rises after the latest helicopter gunship attack. The helicopters circle the area continuously. Trucks and cars used by the terror group remain where they were stopped by the Israeli Defence Forces. The bodies of Hamas fighters who stormed the festival lay where they were killed, on the side of the road or in fields as they attempted to continue the fight. Well, the party took place uh, in fields and beyond this wood line. Uh, it's only, well, it's less than a kilometre away uh, from here. The party goes were attacked as they were trying to get out onto this road. And this is where some of them uh, died, but these are also uh, the Hamas fighters themselves. The bodies uh, are still here. But it's an incredibly dangerous area. Um, we are just talking to soldiers. They said there were rockets here only 20 minutes or so ago. Um, this is effectively the front line. Gaza is really, really near. It's over there. But um, such is the, the state of this, if you like, well, actual war remains incredibly tense everywhere you go. Hi and Noam survived the massacre. They've lost friends, killed or abducted. They're now glued to the television for news. The, the second photo, when we got the first strike, Incredibly, as the initial rocket smashed into the party, they took selfies and sent them to their friends. They thought it would pass, so they hunkered down. Then they ran for their car. And when the shooting starts, directly I push, I push the gas and I go to the, to the um, field that was on the, on the right of me. I press the 4x4 um, button and I start driving. And Noam and I was hearing the shootings in, in, in our heads and they hit the car and, and we saw the jeeps and the motorcycles of Hamas pushing young children that they was under effect of drugs and, and, and alcohol. No, no hero, heroic uh, situation. They just butchered them. This dash cam footage shows the Hamas gunmen going from car to car, abducting some and killing others. Hai and Noam escaped across fields in his jeep. I realised that in the, the other road, the left road, that was traffic in the exit, the terrorists just come with the gun and shoot everybody in those cars. And I remember that I want to go in this in this uh, uh, road because I thought it's the way out. As the killing intensified, the party goers began to flee across the fields by foot. Nobody realised that it's going to be this huge situation. Nobody realised that there is going to come terrorists and kill a lot of people, like innocent people, that just... That they just want to be with their friend, be happy, go to the party. The military build-up along the borderline with Gaza continues. There is no doubt here that the war is just starting and will be long and bloody. Every day, as more details of the many attacks emerge, Israel is left reeling and shocked. This country wants revenge. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Southern Israel.